you have someone who's wants to come in with some type of heart to heart conversation. <laughs> I don't know what's this energy about guys, but this person was codependent or maybe once at one point in time you was codependent on this person or this person is codependent on your energy because this person has a uh, so uh, low self-worth wealth worth and wealth so this person may be having money issues <laughs> and low self-value okay so this person ha has low self-esteem okay this person currently is wants to fight for you guys please take what resonates and leave the rest behind in these readings and also i will never reach out to you for a reading so if you think you have reached out to me if no, you reached out to me if you reached out to me through the link or through my actual page and where it has a message to it and then you spoke to me okay but if you did not and someone messaged you you talk to them that is not me okay i would not I would not reach out to you for a personal reading. Please do not get scammed, you guys. Okay? They will tell you anything to get your money. Okay? Do not get scammed. Okay? My page, you can look. It's all lowercase Conscious Tea Queen. This is my only page. No spaces, no capitals. Okay? Conscious Tea Queen. All right, guys? <laughs> but, yeah. This person, guys, this person wants to fight for this, Right? And I'm sensing that some of you may have had like a family situationship, also may have had past relationship. Some of you guys are getting called to release this ex or have already released this ex. Some of you really are maybe struggling with this energy because it says it's time. The time has come to clear your energy. So you need to cut the cords when it comes down to the releasing this ex if you haven't released this ex from your energy already. But this person was very codependent on you because it also seems like you guys have, may have had a past life together. This is what made this such a, a strong soul tie. Okay, some of you already know this because it felt like you've known each other before. It felt like you guys had an energy where you kind of just clicked, you know? So that's why I felt like it was it was meant, you know what I'm saying? But this person chose a dark route. This person chose not to evolve, not to, you know, um, basically grow up, basically be a better person, you know? Man or woman, don't matter the energy. Exactly. It says pay attention to the red flags. Some of you, it was in reverse, so some of you missed those big ass red flags. Okay. Some of you guys making excuses for these people. And you can't you you can't be doing that. Some of you already y'all 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 already realized the uh the, the red flag, y'all done accepted the red flag, y'all done applied the red flags to the next uh, relationship. So if it's if you see it, you're out of there, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this person has mommy and daddy issues you may identify yourself as an earth angel light worker or a person that is connected to the divine okay this person was a grown child <laughs> did i say this person did not grow up bro emotionally this person stayed the same whatever that trauma or whatever that issue that they went through when it was a child it really it really uh stumped their emotional growth you know what i'm saying yeah, didn't I say codependent? It came out in another deck. This person was codependent on you. Or y'all both was codependent on each other. That's probably why it was hard for you to let the situation go. Or it's hard for you to let the situation go. You need to work on this uh, the shadow aspect of your codependency. Or this person is just codependent on your energy because you have a light, you know, um, energy about you. Okay? It's very magnetic to this person. This person used to love playing mind games, okay? Some of you guys are your own bosses, entrepreneurs, or work on your own type of business, or trying to work on a side hustle, or trying to make money in some type of other endeavor, okay? This person <laughs> I fantasize about a life together. Uh, 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 listen, I got my throat chakra acting up. This person don't really know what to say to you, yo. This person wants to come and talk to you, but... They don't know how to approach you because you have changed from how you were with this person. You've grown. You're not allowing the same bullshit 
like it was before. And even if you are in an energy where you are still open to getting communication from this person, this person likes to play mind games. So they like to string you along and breadcrumb you. Okay. This person is, this person is fantasizing about a life together with the, with your family. So if y'all got kids together, they miss you guys. As far as you and your kids, they miss being in a household with you guys. If you guys um, talked about a family together, then they're, they're, they're thinking about that or whatever. Please taste what resonates and leave the rest behind. You'll have to get a personal to know if this is you. But at the end of the day, um, I put the intention that you will know if it's you. Okay? I've never been loved like you love me. I think of it often. I, this card loves to come out. This per this person thinks about you a lot, okay? This person has a thing. This person was unskilled in the affairs of love. Didn't I tell you? Because of this trauma that they went through when they was a child, it has caused them to be attracted to Jezebel-spirited people, male or female karmic people. They just have a thing for drama and just causing all types of chaos within their lives or just self-sabotaging. Look, I want to marry or remarry you. It did red flags, all lies, guys. Guys, guys, use your discernment with this person because it's giving red flags. It's giving hocus pocus, trying to bring you back into illusion again. Okay, this this is not this is not giving what it's supposed to give. Let's see what the um, let's see what uh, what you need. Look at this. It says take a walk. Literally walk the fuck away. It does. <laughs> take a walk walk away okay also some of you guys need to spend more time in nature and to meditate connect to your guides your crystals dance and your body basically let's see Ooh. okay <laughs> surrender to pleasure you know what i'm saying surrender to the things that you like the things that make you you know i'm passionate in life okay <laughs> Okay, yes. Okay, we're going to keep it PG, but yeah. Uh, surrender to the pleasure of yourself and the things that you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do with yourself. Okay? So that's what I see right now. <laughs> Did I say this person let me back in? Oh my gosh, guys. Use your discernment. <laughs> All right? I love you guys. I'll speak to you later. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can either DM me or email me at consciousteaqueen.com at gmail.com. Okay, guys? Bye-bye. <laughs>